It was the year 2019. A young girl called Uche from a small town in the eastern part of Nigeria left her home country in search of greener pastures. Uche set out to an unknown land called China, a place she had only heard about growing up. Uche won a full scholarship to study Chinese language in China. And although naive and scared, she took the leap of faith and grabbed this once in a lifetime opportunity. After she was done with her language program, COVID had started, which means she was literally locked inside China. Because of this, she applied for a master's degree program in Guizhou University, which she got accepted into. She started her program in the School of Economics, being the only international student in her class at the time. That meant she had to study hand in hand with Chinese students, taking all her courses using Chinese language. I mean, let's imagine for a second, being taught courses like mathematics, calculus in Mandarin Chinese. Oof, that sounds like a lot. Uche found this extremely difficult, and this led to a lot of mental struggle and anxiety for her. Despite all this stress, Uche found time to participate in different school events. She was mostly caught dancing, teaching, giving speeches, or just having herself a jolly good time with the locals. Legends say that Uche even went on to open a YouTube channel to document all these new experiences. Uche fell in love with traveling, spending any little money she got on a new adventure. China gave Uche time to sit with herself, reflect, grow, and learn more about herself. Uche went on to complete and pass all her courses and finish her master's degree program in flying colors. And from what I hear, today, Uche sets out to return to her home country where this story all began. Because the people Uche left at home are asking of their daughter, their friend, their cousin, their relative. So Uche has to go home and see her people. Uche is me and I am her. Let's go home, guys. Tell me what's the point if I lose myself? Spend a couple days with nobody else Holding in my breath just to see if I can find you in my dreams Oh You guys, so these are my bags We are going to Ewa We are going to Nigeria I can't believe it <laughs> You know when you've wanted to do something for so long that when it's finally happening, it feels so surreal. Like, wait, what? Like, hey. But yeah, I'm going to Nigeria today. It's the 22nd of December. My flight is for 12 midnight, you guys. I have such a long journey ahead of me. Um, I'm on my way to the train station. I'm going to take a train from my city to Beijing, which is the capital of China. And then from Beijing, we fly to Egypt. And from Egypt, we get to Lagos, Nigeria. So yeah, that is the plan. You guys, this is going to be a very interesting trip. And that's because I'm traveling. I have a travel partner. Now, this travel partner has twins. Like she has two babies. They are, I think, under six months. She gave birth in China couple months ago and somehow my friend was able to hook me up with her so that I help her carry one of the babies so I'm going to be traveling with um, a mom of twins and I'm going to be carrying a baby throughout the flight so I don't know what to expect but <coughs> We are going to Nigeria We're going to Nigeria I'm so excited. Hey, what? This one. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 you guys. He's helping me. 
Tell me what's the point if I lose myself? Spend a couple days with no guidance. Holding in my breath just to see if I can find you in my dreams. Oh, I'm getting tired of losing faith. You guys are trying to vlog while carrying three bags. So difficult. These are my bags. Oh, sorry. Okay, we are ready for the first round of the trip, which is to Beijing. So this is what the train is looking like. Um, oh, it's a bit empty. Let me check for my seat. I'm so excited. Hey guys, I don't know why. Like, I feel like. This part of my body is lighter than my face. You guys see? I don't know why. It feels so surreal that I'm going to Nigeria. Like, hmm. you know, I was telling myself, I said, I don't care if I have to swim across the seven oceans and seas. I don't care if I have to enter somebody's handbag. I don't care what's, <laughs> what's happening. I said, my two leg must touch Nigeria this year. 2023 cannot end unless I, Uche, I land Nigeria because four years I don't see my mother, I don't see my father, I don't see my sick. Come on, four in fact, over four years. Ha, I want to do my nails, maybe do my lashes. I just want to look pretty, I want to look beautiful. I want my mother to see me and be like, Oh my god, you know. So, we're going with Egypt Air. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that we're going with Egypt Air. I look so pretty, girl. Dangerous items are not allowed I'm a fine girl, Sha. I can't even lie. Like, sometimes I look at myself in the mirror train, or I'm just going through some of my videos and I see myself. I'm like, what? Is this me? I'm like, nah, nah, girl, you're a fine girl. Like, you are fine. I can't lie. Shit. Jesus. It's so expensive. Can't go in that. No, 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 no. no, there's no way I'm paying 60 quid for you to carry this bag for me. Hell no. Boozo, no. boozo. No, I'm not going. 60 quid for what? <laughs> you guys, I don't know. I'm going to carry my bag. Off. It's so funny how it's so cold here. And by this time tomorrow, I'm going to be in Lagos heat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm so excited to be going to Nigeria. Nothing in this world is more important to me right now. Like nothing in this world is more important to me right now than to get my ass, to get my butt to Nigeria. No amount of money, no amount of anything can stop me from going home to my father's house. Eh. I'm currently at the airport. I want to look for where I'll get my uh, my like ticket. Once I get to Lagos, I'm going to make my hair. I'm carrying a wig right now. So once I get to Lagos, your girl's gonna go make her hair, okay? I need to look hot. So when I see my parents, my mother, they will not be like, hey God, no one more, you've been suffering in China. I want them to be like, oh my God, girl, you're looking good, you know? So I have to make my hair, do my nails, if possible fix my lashes so that when i go to because i'm going to the east you guys if you're not nigerian lagos is in the western part of nigeria the east is in the eastern part and i live in the eastern part of nigeria so um, first of all i'm going to be going to my sister's house yes we because you and i okay we're going to be staying in my sister's house for like three four days i'm going to stay there for christmas and i think on the 27th i'm going to head to the east where I'm going to go surprise my mom because my mom also know I'm coming back. Jeez. I don't even know what I'm doing. Jeez. Uche the rapper. I don't even know what I wrapped, you guys. I don't know what I wrapped though. But at least no one will go to my bag. 
by the time they see how I wrapped it, no one will go and try to open it. <laughs> you guys see your girl's eyes so i was so exhausted at this point it had been many hours this was our layover in egypt the baby had been crying and she had been so so fussy so i had to carry her walk around with her oh my goodness it was a lot honestly the mom was carrying one and i was carrying the other so their mom and i would swap the babies at intervals maybe one is crying or needs to be fed i'd give her the girl she'd feed the girl give me the boy we're just swapping the babies okay i was very happy to help because the airline did not allow her fly alone with twins three at three months they were like no you cannot do this you have to get someone and i was just like you know what yes i can help you because if I was the mom of twins, I would also want someone to help me. Traveling all the way to another country with two babies is not easy. So, yeah, even though it was exhausting, it was something I was very, very happy to do. Her name is Royalty, by the way. Royalty! <laughs> my bag but I'm so happy uh, my sister sent someone to come and pick me and yeah I'm sweaty I'm wearing my see you guys see I'm still wearing my China winter boots and I'm so hot once I get home I'm going to have a shower you guys I don't even know how I'm looking but I'm in Nigeria! Ah! I'm so emotional! I can't believe I'm in Nigeria! After four years, you guys! After four years, I'm in Nigeria! I'm so hot! It's so hot! Jeez! It's so hot though! But yeah, um, I look a mess. I've not had my bath since yesterday. <laughs> because... Obviously, it was like an overnight flight. Okay, let me call. You want to call my sister? Yeah. Okay. Hey, God, though. thank Hello, you, ma. Jesus. So. Uh, I'm with her now, ma. Hello? Let me go and pick up. Something is very simple, you see. Yeah, you know, I'm on cue. It's a long story, Bexy. I'm just very tired now. You guys, one hour in Nigeria, and they're like, what did you bring for us? One minute is not one hour. I said one minute. One minute in Nigeria, they're like, "What did you bring for?" I said, "Not bring anything." I I came empty-handed. It's so hot. I wore this because it was it's winter in China, so I wore this and came out. So once I get home, I'm going to change to a polo. I'm even sweating. My eyes are black because my my eyeliner is all smudged. <laughs> I was a lonely silhouette Needed somebody to show the way I'm in front of um, Black Bell It's a very popular restaurant in Lagos But I want to tell you guys that My sister told My sister first of all has been amazing um, Her driver came to pick me from the airport And now we came to buy food Because I don't have any money So she told him to come get me food Now I'm going to make my hair Okay, 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 okay. And next, but I want to tell you guys that when I asked them how much one plate of rice was, they told me two five. I, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I feel like it's so noisy.
So now, I'm not in the Guy, I want to take an air. When they never happen. That's not our business. Until they come and just say, wait. Yeah. Absolutely not. Not in the What is one thing you like to learn in future? I want to go into health. Health. Mm. Guy, if you ever say about how I'm a wicked nurse, me and you go pretty enough. I don't care. Okay. What would I like to learn in future? Mm. So I've always wanted to learn how to bake. Bake? Yeah. Bake cakes, bake stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Kebe, kebe, gafabu. Do I have said this thing? Ready to go.